So here we are, guys, the beginning of 2024. And I thought it could be a good idea to show you guys my trophy collection and my platinum collection. And I'm also going to point out if there is a video for the platinum that you guys can check out or if there will be one, maybe we will see. So, yeah, let's begin. As you guys can see, I do have quite a lot of trophies, in my opinion, at least. I have 6,991. 69, hello. So if we go to my first ever platinum, it is actually Far Cry 3. I got this platinum 2013. So as you guys can see, I have been in love with platinum trophies for a long while. It wasn't until last year I decided to share this with you guys this trophy platinum hunting and so yeah i'm not new to this as you guys can see but yeah this is the first one and i remember that this game is awesome and this platinum was a lot of fun we also go into another playstation 3 game which is the walking dead this was my second platinum that i ever got and this is also 2013 i really really like this one uh walking dead the telltale series super easy platinum you just need to play the game and then you get it this is actually a game that i don't have a platinum in but i really really wanted i'm 20 trophies away and that is bioshock 1 this is the playstation 3 version this is one of my favorite franchises so i freaking love bioshock so maybe i'm gonna go for the platinum in the playstation 4 version that i know is out the remastered one right then we're jumping into 2014 and then i got my infamous platinum which is a freaking great game also and as you guys can see i got this platinum uh 2014 january and then the month after i decided to go for the beyond two souls platinum which also was fun uh, it's not my favorite game, but it was still pretty fun. Then, of course, I went for Infamous 2. What is it? Two months after I got the Beyond Two Souls. Three months after the Infamous 1. Highly recommend this franchise. Super fun. Then I have this Platinum that I've been talking about before in one of my videos for Modern Warfare 1 Platinum. This is one of my rarest Platinums and one of the most difficult ones that I remember. I did play it 2013, but it took me four months after. I don't know if I played it for four months until I got it, but I took a break at least and then I got it. But I'm super proud over this one. Then yet again, I went for another infamous game. As you guys realize now, I really like the franchise. As I, as, as I said before, I got the infamous first light trophy or platinum. And this was 2015 now. So now we actually jumped almost a year. So I took a break from the platinums a little bit and just play the games without focusing on the trophies. Then we have another platinum that I'm really proud over. It is the Hotline Miami one. I took this one 2015 also in the morning, in the beginning of the day, as you guys can see, eight in the morning. I really, really like Hotline Miami. For you guys that have seen, I don't have a video of this, obviously, but I do have a video uh, when I'm playing Hong Kong Massacre. So go and check it out. That one I'm talking about, Hotline Miami, that they are very similar, but Hotline Miami is still better, in my opinion. And very tricky game, very difficult game, but once you get a hold of the combat, the technique, how you should play the game in the best way, it becomes so much fun and you get such a reward by getting this platinum. Then we actually have a platinum I didn't know I had, and that is Watch Dogs 1. Watch Dogs 1 was a really, really fun game, and I really like the PvP part. I think there are trophies for the PvP. Yeah, there are some online trophies, and that was the best part with this game. I played the online part so much, but you could, you could actually go into another player's game and infiltrate them and just hiding and if you could hide without getting detected you won and you could hide in cars you can find like bushes in corners of houses balconies it was so much fun and then the other player needs to find you before the time runs out uh it was so much fun 
Here is a platinum that I decided to take, not because of the challenge, more because this is one of my favorite indie games. And this is Transistor. Transistor is the same makers of Hades. And as you guys already know, I have a platinum in Hades, so go and check it out. But this one is one of their best games. Absolutely fantastic game. Highly recommend, not tricky platinum either. This is actually a game I really want the platinum in, but I don't think you can get it anymore. I don't know how many of you guys remember this game. This is a multiplayer game, a PvP, and it's a 0.1% of the platinums. I don't think their servers are still up. And to be able to get the online trophies, uh, even though the servers are up, uh, I can imagine the game is pretty dead. Here we have a super duper fun platinum that I also recommend, guys. We're still in 2015, the end of the year. Uh, and then I got Sleeping Dogs, Hong Kong Legend. This is so good. So, so good. I'm actually a little bit disappointed that I already have the platinum in this game because I really wanted to share it here as a video because i thought i think that could have been a great video to share but yeah highly recommend here we have a pretty unique platinum i would say i don't think a lot of people have this one i went for it in january so almost straight after sleeping dogs 2016 and this is catherine and this is a puzzle anime type of game and the puzzles are not easy if you feel like i'm good at puzzle games i think i'm pretty okay this one takes it the next step I actually realized I played it 13 and I went back to it 16. Interesting. Not a game for everyone, but still check it out if it sounds interesting for you. Then we finally got my second Far Cry Platinum. This is actually a franchise I want to go back to to share with you guys. Uh, I really want to take the Far Cry 3 Platinum again because I don't remember. There are, It's 10 years ago now, so uh, I don't remember this game. Uh, this is from 2016. We got it in Far Cry 4. It was fun as Far Cry 3, not as much fun uh, because I like Far Cry 3 better story-wise, but a Still a good platinum. Here is another platinum that I'm super happy I got, and it is Dying Light. Dying Light is such a good parkour action type of game. I think you all know Dying Light. Uh, there is a Dying Light 2 out also. I have not taken the platinum in it, but this game is one of my favorite ones. I still listen to the soundtrack of this game, and it's just so good. Then I also have a platinum in the indie game called Broken Age. This one was not tricky. It was a little bit time consuming, if I'm not mistaken. It was still in 2016. Nothing special. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys know this game, but it was fun. Another platinum that I have that I'm super happy I got also is No Man's Sky. I would not recommend this platinum <laughs> because it was very, very time consuming and very grindy. There were one trophy where yeah there is one trophy you just needed to be afk for like five hours or something it was something ridiculous i was like i am so bored right now and i was like why is this a thing i'm still happy that i have it i have so strong memories of this game when i took the platinum but i wouldn't recommend it even though i would recommend the game if you like uh, space exploration type of games it's great especially now i got it when it was released which was the ver which apparently is way worse now in the state as it is right now 2024 it's much better i heard here we go here we have another far cry game this is primal uh, i got this one in the middle of 2017 my least favorite far cry game cannot speak a uh, game i think that i got a platinum in but yeah then we got Watch Dogs 2 which was also super fun i think i just decided that i wanted the platinum because i got the platinum in Watch Dogs 1 there is one of these games that have a music trophy you need to find npcs listening to music it, that's Watch Dogs 1 Watch Dogs 1 guys look out is that rng trophy where you need to find npcs listening to a specific song 
that one is horrendous to find here's actually hotline miami 2 guys and as you guys can see i don't have the platinum in it i think it is because i was so happy i got it in hotline miami 1 it was such a fun journey but it was also very tricky and time consuming for me so i really need to be in the mood and right mindset to go for this one here i have another platinum that a lot of people don't really like not the platinum per se but the game uh it is the order 1886 i really like this game it's such a pretty game the graphics is amazing very easy platinum uh, and a very short game i think that's why i got a lot of criticism but it was still fun only 22 trophies here we have one of my top favorite games of all time i freaking love division especially the pvp part absolutely one of my it's nothing special maybe for you guys like trophy hunters but this is my love i love the vision i have so many good memories so this was a must for me to get the platinum in here we have another platinum that i got in alienation i barely remember this game it was a lot of grind took a pretty long time to get this one i started playing it in 17 but i got it not until late year of 18 so yeah grindy not a lot of trophies but yeah it was okay i guess here we have a platinum that i don't really like guys i know this game is very well loved of most people it has a high percent people that got the platinum this one i didn't enjoy it became very grindy uh you did exactly the same things over and over and yeah mm, not super fun here we have another one that I really liked. It is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. We got 44 out of 44 trophies. And this one we got 2019. And this one is super fun. Highly recommend if you guys like these type of games. Uh, I would love to take this platinum again. Here we have another platinum of the same developers, creators of Hades and Transistor. And that is Pyre. I went for this one because I do love them as... Uh, I love their games. So I needed this one in my collection. It was fun. I don't think it was super difficult, but it's a lot of trophies. 51 in total. Don't really remember super much of this one, but I guess it was fun. Here we have a platinum, which is pretty fun to uh, bring up today because hellblade senua's or hellblade senua's sacrifice is the platinum i have but hellblade 2 is coming out i think this year uh, unfortunately we will not be able to take the platinum in it because it's not going to get released on playstation here we have a pretty common and well loved platinum and game for most people and that is gozo tsushima uh, I got this platinum in 2020, the end of 2020, and such a pretty game, not difficult platinum, but I remember. So it was so much fun. This is also a platinum. I regret a little bit that I already have the platinum because I would have loved to share it with you guys. Here we have another game that I really want to take a platinum in, but uh, it's going to be like one of those clean up trophies, clean up videos, platinums. That is Miles Morales. I only have seven trophies left. Here's actually my first Resident Evil platinum, and this one was all right. I don't really like the Resident Evil 3 game. This is the new one. What is it? Remastered or remake? Uh, I actually took this one on stream, so go and check out my Twitch, guys, if you didn't know I had one. And then we got the Bramble Mountain King. This one is a hidden gem, guys. It's about uh, Nordic mythology. It's a lot of Swedish references, so go and check it out. Then we have the Platinum that is the most popular one on my channel, and that is Doom Eternal. I actually played this game, as you guys can see, 2022 on stream. But then I ended up uh, going back to it almost, uh, is it? It's more than a year after to get the platinum. And I don't regret it. It's only 1.3% that has this one. Two games, guys, two Marvel games. And that is Marvel Spider Man Remaster that I also have on the channel. Very, very fun, easy, and fun platinum. Highly recommend. And then we got Marvel's or the Guardians. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. That one is also super fun. 
Then we got the Callisto Protocol Platinum, which is 2.5, please. I actually have this one. I do have a video of this uh, when we are playing as a Jacob. It looks like Dead Space, guys. It's not Dead Space. It's the same, uh, it's the same man behind Dead Space that did Callisto. Uh, I also think this game deserves more attention. And then we have just another day at the office. This is Modern Warfare one remastered version 51 trophies we do have a video of this this is super fun i don't like one trophy and that is the mile high club this one is so in my opinion <laughs> then we have these games that i think you guys recognize we have five nights at freddy's which is also a video no platinum unfortunately but it was tricky to get 100 percent we have battlefield 5 uh which i don't recommend for anyone that don't want to do multiplayer trophies it was a lot of grind and multiplayer overall the campaign though is very very pretty not super balanced on the hardest difficulty but still fun and then resident evil 4 i love this new resident evil 4 then we have a platinum that i actually don't have a video of and that is Alan Wake 2 i played Alan Wake 2 on stream and i went back to get the platinum actually off stream and i do have the material to make a video so we will see in the future if i make it and then we have bully rockstar's bully you guys already know it i think i have a video it's pretty newly released then we have that steward which was your guys decision this is in my last 2023 video where you guys decided what platinum i was gonna go for and it became death store this is also a hidden gem i would say it is a little bit like a from software game but a little easier but you know you have great combat pretty music and environment and then the most recent platinum that i have right now is modern warfare 2 and this one was actually more fun than modern warfare 1 if you guys haven't checked out the video go and check it out this is my most recently platinum so i got this one in the beginning of 2024 but hopefully i will be able to share a lot of platinums uh, with you now during 2024 thank you so much again guys for everyone that has watched my videos like them commented and also subscribed i hope we are maybe gonna make it to at least 80 platinums ah uh, we will see maybe 80 i don't think i can reach 100 guys no i don't think so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video also please let me know what you think about these platinums and the trophies and the plans uh, i didn't show off all the platinums because this video is already 40 minutes of recording I don't want this to be an hour, one hour one. So uh, I will probably do another video like this in the end of the year or beginning of next year, maybe. And so we can have a check in and see what we have done and how many trophies and platinums we have. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos. If you saw a game here that you know I have a video of that I mentioned, go and check it out. Or if you have any questions or if you want to share your favorite uh, platinum, please do in the comment section. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.